Good morning. Good morning. What's good? Marquise Martin Hayes. It's Thursday. It's time to thrive. I'm not going to waste any time at all. Today, I've got an amazing, amazing contributor, Aubrey Murray. He's an amazing actor, producer, director. And when you hear his story, including that his sister truly, truly, like for real, for real, was a Disney princess, you're going to be shocked. You're going to be moved. and He's going to leave you without excuse to thrive in your life. Y'all know I care about you getting it done. I literally just got off a call with students from Leo High School, encouraging them and talking about my life, but helping them get their life. And I'm about this thing called thriving. Like, why exist when you can thrive? Like, come on. And so that's why Arby's with us today. Before I bring them on, really quick, Lash Boost, one of the products that I sell and I represent. Lash Boost is part of Rodan and Fields. It's really simple. It helps moisturize your lashes, which allows for fuller looking, darker looking, longer looking eyelashes. Lash Boost. Ladies, you might want to get some. That's all I can tell you. Quick secret. I use it. Why? Why? Because I'm an actor. And any edge I can have on camera, I take. Now, I grew up with some long ones, but they're adding thicker, fuller, and it gives me an edge. Marquise Martin Hayes is Thriving Thursday. Let's go. Good morning, bro. Brother, brother. How you doing, man? How you doing? Man, Good morning all to you. Well. All yeah, well. every, yeah, everything all is great. Well. Everything's great. Listen, so I got oh. you on here, man. And we talked about it kind of beforehand about the idea of leaving people hungry for themselves and ready to thrive. And for me, the moment I met you, it has it even been a year? I don't think it's been a year yet. Nah, uh, no, it hasn't been a year. Not at all. Not at all. When I met you, I knew you. Like the sense of like the spirit knowing it was like click. Like That's this guy's the real deal. He's a, he, you. You came out the gate giving. You came out the gate connecting. You came out the gate contributing, and I was left like that guy's. That guy's legit. And so since then, we've had several different interactions. And today, yeah. I have the honor of sharing you with my community. And so, welcome. Oh man, uh first of all, thank you, man. That 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 intro, I just hope I live up to that one. Um <laughs> I You're appreciate guy, you saying man. so, man. I appreciate you saying so, man. I'm trying hard, bro. Was, I mean, let's not let's not pretend this, you know, yes. it's a smooth coast. There's hurdles and walls, man. But yes. you know, yes. jump over them and bust through them. It is what it is. But, um, is. Yeah, man, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, you know, hopefully my viewers will, you know, link to you too. So all right, cool. Let's get into it. Yeah. Starting yes, off, with, who are you in a sense that the world needs to understand? Tell us a little bit about your story and kind of how you got where you are now. Um, Man, who I am. Uh, well, he, <laughs> uh, I guess for me, man, I just came from a lot, man. There's been a lot of hurdles. You know, um, childhood wasn't easy and all of that. I didn't have silver spoons or any of that stuff. But yeah. one thing that I have learned along my way is to push through the adversity, man. I mean, it's easy to go south of what I'm what I'm trying to do. Got you know, it. it's easy. It's easy to go all the way to the left and, you know, be who they say we are. Yeah. Yeah. Dig. Um but but that's not that's not that's not me. That's not pushing. That, that that's not what drives me. So yeah. Um, how did I get here? Uh, I I've always been a bit of a writer. I'm a writer uh, to the core. Okay. And um, I had a I had a I had a friend that uh, that pushed me to submit something that I wrote. I was terrified. Um, I don't. I don't think. I don't even think she knows exactly how terrified I was, man. But I was freaking out, yeah. like, man. Uh, I, I I submitted a I submitted a television ser television series idea to BET, Got and it. um, man, it took me like twenty minutes just to press send on that thing. Uh, but once I pressed send on the email, it was like the floodgates opened up, and this is all I wanted to do. And so, once your purpose is you know, here's your purpose. Yeah. It was it was gold from that point on, you know? So um man, I've just been driving since. So I need people to understand something. I know you said it, but 
Many times the reason we don't thrive is because we play like this. Your <laughs> first submission was to BET, and it wasn't for a pilot. Nah, threat, bro. Like, who does that? Yeah. Like, who does <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah. And, um, yeah, let's let's Brown says something about shoot for the moon, at least you'll land among the stars, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When people as this interview unveils itself, they will understand you definitely landed among the stars. So what happened? Man, I'm listening. Um, so so yeah, so so I I, I submitted to BET, and to be honest with you, nothing came of it. Um, I I, I did my my first submission and got my first rejection in the first two weeks of my career. Great. Um. But it wasn't a stopper. I had called up one of my buddies and was like, hey, man, you know, I told him the same story I told you. I posted to BET. You know, I'm waiting to hear it back, but I'm geeked. I can't. I, I have to do this. And he was like, well, I'll tell you what. If you really want to do it, you need to go over to Second City, take some classes, sharpen your tools, and, and, and make it happen. And I'll be real with you. Um, the, this, this guy in me, that guy. Yeah. Um, it took a second to humble him because he was like, "Take classes? A grown ass? What do you mean take class? You know what I'm saying? I was born like, this way. Right? What do you mean take? I can man, I can create a story like man, no problem. Yeah. He's like, man, take some classes. Yeah. So I, I I took the time and said, I right, I tell you what, I'm gonna go do that. So I went to uh, I went to Second City, and I was home. From right there, I was home. Um, nice. took some writing classes. Uh, uh. My instructor from the writing class, uh, he's a producer, he's an actor, he's a director. His name is Kenneth Yoder. He's an awesome guy. Um, and I, I hit Ken and was like, man, I sent him this email and was like, listen, I want to learn all I can about this industry. Like, I want to be it. I want to be in it. Uh, you know, and I've had people ask me, what do you want to do? Do you want to write? Do you want to direct? Do you want to act? Do you want to? I'm like, man, I just want to be. I don't care. I just want in. Mm, Put me sure. in. Let's go. Um, so I hit him up and I was asking him, you know, if uh, if there was a way like I could come on set and like sit in the back and take notes and mm -hmm. and just be quiet and not bother nobody. He was like, I tell you what, you can come to set, but there is no sitting in the back taking notes and being quiet. The only way you learn this craft is through hard work and sweat. Yeah. It was like it's gonna be crazy. There's long hours. There's mm -hmm. you know. You're going to be tired as long as you can say yes. He was like, you know, you might have something. And to his, to my response was, man, listen, I've worked at the largest high school in the country. I'm good with crazy. So yeah, yeah, I dove in, um, got my first, got my first gig was a Keystone light commercial. Okay. Yeah. We did like, we did like three commercials to Keystone light in like two days. And off to the races, man. And I, I, it's, well, it's only been a year, man. So before, okay, so, because I'm not unveiling anything. So, no, okay. 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 BET okay. and your Keystone uh, commercial, how long mm -hmm. did it? Uh, BET, I think I submitted last May. Keystone commercial was last. February, it was during the polar vortex. Um, so a couple years ago. Uh, not this past February, the one before that. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, and by the way, those actors, I, I just want to hatch off to you and your profession and what you do. Because yeah. again, it was the polar vortex and them poor dudes was out there and then the jeans and body paint. And I'm going to stick behind the camera with my coat on. I'm good. I was, filming, I was filming a Northwestern film project then, bro, and it was like uh, at an Apple store on the river. It was, uh, it, yeah. Uh, uh, nah, that's, that's yours. That's yours. That's yours. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, right. I'm gonna stick to wearing my coat and telling you to do it. I don't wanna yeah. let me direct. I'm cool. <laughs> so what happened after that? Um, after Keystone, Keystone, um. I see nothing for a minute, just because you know how the you know how the industry is. After you know February, it's like I mean, we're, it was winter. Nothing, nothing was really going on. Plus, I was still new. Yeah. Um, yep. But uh, summertime kicked in. I did like I did a spot. There was like fifteen commercials for VTech Leapfrog, I think. Um, 
from there, somebody had put me on the T-Mobile, from T-Mobile to Lincoln to Starbucks, and then I started forgetting after a while how many uh, how many things I, I've um man I've been on I've, I've made it to the set of TV shows and commercials and 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 you know finally getting to where I am right now launching Misfit Productions doing my own thing and uh and trying to trying to make that happen and um it's 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 it the roller coaster is amazing man it, all right it's like you ever, you ever get that feeling when you're in the car with somebody mm-hmm. and they're driving just way too damn fast but you're having fun mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's like that but i'm the one driving too yeah you know what I mean? like i'm freaking out but man i'm on the gas so and that's just that's where it's at so so let's spill the beans how long you been okay wait before we spill the beans before. Okay. What are some of the larger projects that the average person would be like, oh my God, you worked on that? Um uh I've I've worked on uh wow, Lovecraft Country is coming out. Okay. Um I was I was part of the crew on that. Um it Starbucks. looks like an amazing show. Starbucks, Starbucks. Um Yeah, you know, Starbucks. I'm in. Uh <laughs> No, actually, Starbucks was dope. The the Lincoln commercial actually was probably my favorite. Lincoln, um, okay. as far as commercials go, yeah, uh, we did the, the the commercial. If anybody has seen the commercial for the Lincoln Corsair, where it's yeah. driving around downtown Chicago, yeah. we were shutting down Rapid Drive on the first hot Friday of the year in Chicago. Wow. People were pissed, but oh, it was yeah. so much fun, man. Oh yeah. Um, uh, also, um, there's a movie, uh, there's a documentary coming out. This is probably my favorite project that I'm a part of. Okay. I'm excited to see it. Uh, it's called The Most Beautiful Thing. It's, uh, yeah. it's, it's basically, yeah, it's a story about, um, it's a documentary about the first all black rowing team. Yeah. Uh, who knew this from right here in Chicago, Manly High School. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's narrated by Common. Um, yeah. and man, it's basically like, like cool runnings. On the water in Chicago, but it's not funny. Understood. Yes. Understood. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, it's, it's, yeah, real, yeah. it's real. It's real business, though. Like, man, these these are these are a bunch of dudes from from different different you know gang backgrounds. Yeah. And they all got in this little boat and rode it, and like they're good. They're grown men. Now. I think they graduated in like '98 or something like that. Yeah. They got together and they 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 got on the boat and and did a race out on the lagoon at a at Lincoln Park Zoo. Yeah. And just to be there and be a part of that and watch them do that, you know, because it, it, it was just, it, it was a most beautiful thing, man. Yeah. It, it really was. It really was. All right. So I'm um, um, be on the lookout for that too. I think um, fifty percent of the proceeds go to help at risk youth. So like, it's not just a film. Like they're still doing stuff for people, and that's kind of that's kind of where I want to be with my yeah. productions too. You know, make sure you share the link with me, and I'll add it for afterwards. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, so like, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to know. Wait, and what else? Like, was it a Marvel or DC film you worked on? What? On an uh, episode of Batwoman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Batwoman. But yo, um, I just found out Ruby Rose left the show. Huh? The so, wait, so I, I just saw, I just saw, uh, I just saw a posting. Ruby Rose left the show. Ruby Rose was Batwoman. She left the show. Oh, that's a problem. I mean, I don't know. So, uh, what you wrote for I me? Mean, I mean, what I was doing would still be out, I'm sure. <laughs> right, I right, know. But, right. Yeah, but you know, yeah, it's crazy. So I have a question for you, because yes, what they don't understand is, oh, this guy's cool. Oh, this guy's great. Oh, this guy's done some stuff. How long you been in the game? Uh, as of February that just passed, it's been a year. It's been a year and some change now, a couple months. Um, with I, With no intent of slowing down um at all you know all right uh so like did y'all hear the man he had a dream and a passion he shot for the freaking moon mars saturn pluto that's no longer a planet and everything that he's done in the last year and a few months it hasn't even been a year and six months yet Mm. like Mm -mm, so how what Man, how that and misfits and how the hell did you come together and, and out of nowhere like the, the ability to thrive and get past that no and all and generate all like what what does that come from like like I know you told us what happened but 
how does this happen? <laughs> like people are- here's, 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 here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. Um, as far as like the no and getting my first rejection in the door and all that, I mean, I'm a grown man. We've all been told no before. You know what I mean? Like you, you've been told no, you be told no. You know what I mean? Yep. Who has not heard no? No is probably the first word you have heard. Yep. You know, and and for some of us, it is our first word. You've heard it. You, you, you've been there. You, you've been there. But I mean, there's something to be said for persistence. You know, to to, to something to be said for push for grind. I had a coach um, in high school, man. I'll never forget this man, John Real, and he used to have he had like quotes and catchphrases for days to the point where when he passed away, God rest him. When he passed away, people were saying his quotes at the funeral and the congregation was responding and saying it back, right? Wow. Um, he had the saying that, and I don't even know if he came up with him, yeah. but he had the saying, if it is to be, it's up to me. That is the realest thing that I have ever heard. If it is to be, it's up to me. If yeah. I want to do it, I'm the only one that can do it. If I want it done, I got to go make it, yeah. make it happen. Yeah. Um, and and that and that fight actually uh, another another one another one that has always stuck with me uh, ever since I was a toddler man I remember my my mom actually used to say there's no such thing as can't like I would say I can't do something she'd be like there's no such thing as can't and as a child I'm like what? it's in the book what do you mean it says can't like that's a word you know what I'm saying Dude, but my pops, as I got older my pops was like you can't use that word in my house yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, as a as a coach, because I coach, well, I used to. I, I'm retired, doing too much. But uh, as a coach, I used to. Um, you ask any of my players, man. You can is not a word allowed in our vocabulary, man. Right. We we get to run in for cans. Push ups happen after cans. Yes, you can. You haven't even tried yet. Yes. How do you know what you can do? Who said you can't do it? Okay. Um. Right. Right. And that's kind of where that's kind of where misfit came from. Just because you know, I as a person like to my core in general like what do you mean no what do you mean i can't how you think you don't know me you, know, you don't know what i can you don't know what i can do you have no idea what i can do you don't know me so yeah. so you know tell me i can't then watch me make it happen and look back at you like yeah that's me that's and that's and that's the beauty of M- misfit productions is that's that's my family that's how they are you know it's a, yes. it's, it, it's a bunch of people that realize that we don't have to be put in the box that they left us in, you know, just because society or the world or the news or whatever says you're this. Yeah. But what if you don't want to be this? What if you want to be over here? What if you want to be oh. over there? You know what I mean? Oh. So, so, you know, I guess for me, the whole push behind it is to prove not just to myself, but to prove to people, to other people, yeah. man, listen, you can do anything you put your mind to if you just decide that this is this is it today. Like this is what I'm yeah. doing today. Um, yeah. You know, there's 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 no there's no there's nothing stopping you. A no shouldn't stop you. Yeah, you know. I was talking to the students today. I was telling those young men. I was like, dude, get used to no's. Look for the no's. Get as many no's as you can so that you can get to yeah. your answers. Like yeah. it's imperative. Like yeah. the thing about misfits that I love that when we were talking before, you you talked about how the team has been assembled and your vision for it, and mm-hmm. how it has allowed people to do what they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for Henry Ford, right? Like right, 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 right. Um, that that again, like just to touch on what you're saying. Um, I've got people. Uh, with me, and there's, there's, you know, I got a core team, but there's like an extended team because misfits. It's, it's a bunch of people from all walks, all places, people yeah. in different states, people in yeah. different countries. Yeah. But, but um, the thing is, it's everybody has, everybody there has a dream, a drive, and a passion, a talent, but. For whatever reason, they didn't get a chance to really use it. Um, mm-hmm. my one of one of my partners, man, he's he is a talented graphic designer. Um, and he's doing what he loves to do, but he's doing it for someone else. Yep. So he's kind of he, so he's so he's doing what he loves to do, but he's doing it 
under somebody else's thumb, under somebody else's, hey, we need this, that, X, Y, Z. Yes. I'm like, brother, you're talented. Create. He's like, there's been times, literally, he's like, hey, well, what do you, how do you want this to look? Yeah. You're asking me for it, man. Go. Yeah. You know, you're and creative. he comes, and right, it, right, you're creative. Create. You know, and that's, and that's what I want for, for everybody in my, in my squad as well as everybody around me, man. Yeah. Um, if you're not working with me, you know, if you don't know me and we never meet, at the yeah. end of the day, my message is you don't have to not follow your dreams because you think it might be weird. So go be weird. Go, dude, <laughs> go be weird. Hold on. Hold on. Go be weird. When I was growing up, you don't skateboard. Not, I skateboard. not as a focus. You don't ride dirt bike <laughs> as a real focus. I, you don't play video yeah. games as a real focus. No. Don't be weird, man. Getting paid. Without, getting paid man. to do yeah. what they do. Yeah. Partnerships. Real money. Yeah. yeah. 12, 13, 14 years old. Boy, I coached a kid. I coached a kid in basketball. He had a skateboarding contract. You know how hard it is to tell a basketball player he can't ride a skateboard during the season while he's on contract? He's like, yeah, coach, I'm, I'm going to be all right. Yeah. I can't say nothing. I'm, 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 you're right. You're going to be fine, man. Yeah. Listen, man, people want to know because I put it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your sister was a Disney princess. What's that? Yeah. That fit yeah. You? Um, so my little sister, uh, she's been a skater since she was like four, something like that. Um, before she could even properly form a sentence, she was out there sliding around on the ice. I it's amazing to me because I can't do that. Yeah. But um but yeah, man, she uh she had been skating for a while and she had a uh she had an opportunity to go uh she had a, she had an opportunity to go to Idaho and and do this showcase and she was so amped about it because there was gonna be producers there and people who like showrunners, like people who create shows. Yeah, she wanted to be seen. And uh, but you know, she had work, she had school, she had this and that, and I'm like, it was it was just a weekend, it was two days. Yeah. Um, but granted, she had to go to Idaho to travel back and forth. So give it a week, right? Sure. Um, she was, you know, what do I do? What should I do? Man, go. But what about school? What about work? It'll be there. Yeah. Work, work and school will be there. Work will always be there. School will always be there. Um, but but won't, all, won't always be there is that opportunity. And I remember telling her, like, look, here's the deal. If you go and they tell you no, not the first time. Yeah. At least you took the shot. I mean, how many times have you heard you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take? Right? Literally. So right. So I'm like, man, go take the shot. Worst case, they tell you no. You went, you gave it what you had, you yeah. found out that what you had wasn't good enough, you can come back and work on it again. Yep. Worst case. It's the worst thing that can happen is you can be told no. Yeah. Now, let me tell you, she had the same mama I got, so she's been told no before. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, no, it's, no. Yeah, right. No, it's happened before. So, um, so you know, I was like, just go take the shot. Go take the shot. And she went and took the shot. A week or two went by. She gets an email like, look at this. They, they want me. I'm like, told you. Go do that. And, um. You know, she had done, she had, I mean, she was, she was dope. Don't get me wrong. She's a phenomenal skater. Yeah, like, she yeah. should have, she, she could have, should have been. I knew, but I knew, I knew. Yeah, yeah. I knew. Yeah. I knew. Um, but when she went, man, she came back and she, she was, she was so happy that she's been doing it. She's been doing it for years. She finally retired. Congratulations to her. Um, so man, just that, that first time watching her on the ice at, uh, at All State Arena, man, we got to meet back, backstage. And I gave her a hug and was like, look, I told you so. You know, um, and her doing that is actually a really huge inspiration to me. Mm -hmm. um, like my little sister is my inspiration for real because she saw what she wanted and she went and got it. I mean, how many people can say the little sister went and joined the circus? She was in the Universal Circus for a while too. You know, wow. how many people can say that? Wow. Right, because she just, I want to go do it. So she did yeah. it. So yeah. how am I going to push her to do that, yeah, and then still be sitting in the same spot with this dream and this drive that I have. If I do that, that's this is this, this I mean, yeah. for like for like I mean, if if I don't 
follow the dream and the drive that's been calling me as I'm telling, you know, my sister as well as all of these students that I coach, all these young yeah. athletes, if I'm yeah. pushing them to go do it, but I don't do it, if I'm not leading my example, then it's a joke. Yeah. And yeah. I refuse for all of this talking that I just did to be wasted. I you know mean, that, man. I appreciate yeah. that. Listen, if there were, as we're wrapping up, great interviews always go so fast. If, if if you were going to leave to a monastery tomorrow or they were going to take your hands off and you could no longer write and they taped mm. your mouth and we could no longer hear what you had to say, mm. what quote, what book, what resource, what would you leave us so that we could go thrive? Hmm. You know what? Um, I'm going to, you know what I'm going to leave you with? I'm going to leave you with uh, another quote from my high school coach, man. Okay. Um, and it, again, I'm sure he didn't come up with it. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Yeah. We're, we're forced to believe he did, but uh, think you can or think you can't, either way, you're right. You know what I mean? Yo, that was, my Monday. that was my Monday. That That's was my real. Monday Facebook Live, bro. Because, no, that is it's so real. You could be right. It is, it is so real. If you think you can't and you don't want to, then you won't. You won't. Period. You won't. But if you decide you can and you really feel to your core that you can, what's stopping you? Um, I, I, we had talked before and I had said it. I don't want to be one of those people that find out that when all this crazy Rona stuff is over, that not having enough time was, wasn't the problem. Man. You know? Okay. If, if we find out you finish Rona, you haven't learned a new skill, you haven't learned a new talent, you haven't started a new business or something. Something. You're late. Do something. What have you done? This is the only time so, in life that we have as adults to actually be okay staying at home. And what you do in that window of time, well, says a lot about who you are or where you are in your own space. Real talk. Not as a real slam, talk. just real talk. No, no, this is real. It's, 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 real. it's and that's the thing. It's not, it's not a slam. It's no. not a if anything, if anything, it's a it's a it's a reason to like once you put this down, like go look in the mirror and really look at yourself and be like, man, um what you else? know, if you had if you had a thing that you was that you were, man, I, I wish I had time to do this, or I wish I could do that, or man, you know, when when this is done, I'm gonna try this, or when I could man, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? Keep pushing it off. As you postpone, time is still moving. That's real. All right, so in one minute, tell me some of the stuff you're working on now. So, Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I have a couple projects coming up. Uh, I'm working with a uh, very talented writer-director, Jessica Tolliver, um, on a film called Wonder Child. Uh, looking forward to working on that. She's dope, and I, I know her work already, so like I was amped to jump on that. Um, that's a short coming out uh, where, you know, we're – pre-production hoping that's a yeah. thing um soon and also lucky quarter is something that i'm writing and directing up uh wrote and am directing it's a um it's a short story written by uh stephen king and i acquired the rights to that and uh yeah. we're gonna make that film happen too so be on the lookout man i got a few things coming this that you know once it. we can get it. outside and get get the ground running hopefully we don't like you you know we yeah. plan to so stay tuned. Okay. We're gonna look out, man. Well, thank you, sir. Man, Give me thank a quick you, minute. Brother. I'll be back in the green room. I want to thank everyone before we jump out of here. All right. Hold on one all second. Man. Guys, Aubrey Murray, the real deal. He left you with no excuse. You are a misfit. We know you're a misfit. The only question is will you actually get up and do something? Will you actually eliminate you can't? Will you actually let go of the excuses? Will you tune in to what's truly there for you and go get it? He talked about shooting and then he was still, he was, he stayed hungry and went and did whatever it took to get where he wanted to be. And a year and less than six months, he's already working on a Stephen King project. Are you kidding me? What can you do? Get up and go thrive. Thanks for your time today. Marquis Martin Hayes. We'll see you next week.